So here at IBC, we're really bringing forward our strategic campaign called IP for Live. Uh, at EVS, that's the, the focus on the aspect that we need the industry, we need other vendors, and we're trying to demonstrate to our customers that we need open, we need interoperable uh, capabilities for this to go forward in the industry. So we're demonstrating live with uh, partners of ours like Imagine Communications, like Cisco, and we're showing actual implementations where our new gateway product called XIP, for example, is connected directly to those existing products that our other vendors are using, and we're showing live practical hands-on demo on how off-the-shelf switches uh, and software-defined networking can help us guarantee the needed bandwidth reservation and the ability to move IP flows uh, to make a successful live production in today's space. So the XIP gateway for us is really a solution which helps us let our customers bridge their existing investments uh, when they're ready to move and migrate to an IP infrastructure. So the XIP allows them to stack that on top of their existing XT3 server from EVS uh, and really bridge those capabilities in a reliable, consistent way and again with open interoperable things like SMPTE 2022 6 for uncompressed uh, video flows over IP. So for us, really, the IP for Live campaign overall is a global strategy within our company of how we're bringing intelligence solutions uh, to the market. So the other example of that is uh, the Divi production switcher, which is a product designed with IP at the heart of the product, um, really taking advantage of the IT industry, uh, those designs, as a new way of thinking about distributed switching uh, and the architectures that, that we can leverage from the IT industry. I think that uh, without any doubt, at some point, we will absolutely be all based on IP we will see continued evolutions in the, in the market. Uh, for us at EVS, we know that our customers are looking for short-term solutions as they start to migrate certain strategic parts to IP. So that's where we bring intelligent hybrid solutions to help them progressively migrate into that domain. Uh, and overall, I think the, you, know, you could see five, you could see six years before you see complete end-to-end -end facilities going all IP. It could take longer. It really is a, it's a flexible market that's emerging right now, but undoubtedly we will move there in the future. So for us, we see various triggers for this, and 4K is definitely a compelling point because the needs of SDI today are not meeting the needs of, of 4K, I should say. So IP is an intelligent choice to help us move more into that, uh, and then you move into the topics of needing compression as well. So 4K is absolutely uh, one of those necessities which is driving the adoption of IP uh, and uh, the evolution in, that, uh, in the market.